Got cut off. <coughs> now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business, right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But uh, let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Theatera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Susha and Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air bomb. I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. A new face in Pericles is abode. That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, it's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't. Well, if you'll excuse us, I'm working on my impression of you. I call it the pretty monkey. <laughs> Care for another impression? My favorite is Sophocles. <sighs> that one isn't funny. Well, if you'll excuse us, I'm working on my impression of you. I call it the pretty monkey. Uh. Care for another impression? My favorite is Sophocles. Uh. That one isn't one. funny. Well, if you'll excuse us, I'm working on my impression of you. I call it the pretty monkey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every pedis.
I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to know <coughs> someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus Exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Evripides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to Evripides. Lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. Honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every piece and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Another impression? My favorite is Sophocles. Uh, that one isn't funny. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill! Amateur! In my day, this would be considered nectar of the god! Another round! <laughs> Ready for more? I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. Another? Yeah. This 
wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Socrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pythis won't notice you coming out. <laughs> he won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving, because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. Who is this? From earlier? I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Nah. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. 
Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. <laughs> Which way to go to get up there? Ah. Move your butt, sir. No hallways here. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... 
related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough <coughs> opinion hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Hmm. There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. <coughs> I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. <coughs> Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye. Got a clue here. Put a map, make it so true. <coughs> Ugh. Okay, where's that dark marker? Ah, okay, so here's where we stand. I can go finish the quest thingy, or get the guy at the quarry. Because the citizen thing just so No, we've been trying so hard to finish this quarry thing. Let's finish the quarry. <laughs> Let's go. Don't worry, we'll go do the other one too. But we're going to do this one. Dios 
<coughs> I think we leveled up again. We're at 15. I've been looking for you two idiots everywhere. My goodness. Ooh, oh, excuse me. Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him <laughs> he looked entirely too happy about that guy making that comment. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian <coughs> citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metrun, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> you should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. Talking hey, in circles may work signed. on others, Socrates, time to get but back to not on me. I don't speak in circles, or any other shape. You answered one of my questions. My favorite Mystheos returns. And with good news, too. My favorite kind. You did it, then? Of course I did. Sophanes' name is now on the citizen list. Perfect! I knew you were the right Mystheos for the job. Apparently some long line of strain all of Athens, I figured it out. <laughs> did that. <laughs> now that you forged my friend's name on the citizen's <coughs> list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So, you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. Time to find Peros. He's only <coughs> around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And 
I just ask him to help? Theros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. Athens meant war. <coughs> North of the Mint, in Greater Athens. It's around here. Let's go check. The witness. There you are. Phoebe? Hi, baby. Not Phoebe. How have you seen me? Oh. oh, that rooster's gonna have beef with the next time I come through. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiavi said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanes betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look. It isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Theon may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. There you go. That's the guy Alkibiad is called Handsome. Can't say I agree with him. Back to Cupid, boy. I didn't break anything. Calm down. Ooh, I like that dress too. Very awkward. Oh, I don't want to go there. Yeah, I want to go there. here. Yeah, 
let's upgrade armor real quick before I forget again. Because we're level 15, so we can use all our 15 things. What's this? That's a mean wooden sword. this one look like? Oh, it's kind of cool. Too bad it's like wimpy. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. It's done. So it is. I'll let Sofanis know what happened. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? A person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? You can't. We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. Okay. 
<coughs> Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates. Else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermipos should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermipos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says. What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. Uh, an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Hermipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. Wherever Hermipos is, Tempting. I'll find him. <laughs> I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. Spray my face in here. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do the morning glories. Η τραγωδία κινείται μεταξύ τριών βαθμίδων. 
I should be careful. High security here. Look like Arnipos is here. I should take a look around. I'll be on high alert here. Come see. Yeah. Oh, did it again. Come on. Get it. Grouchy. Oh. Explains his residence, at least. I, I, I thought he had plenty. Yeah. Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. A mask from the cult of Cosmos. Mm. Ermipos must be a member. 
What is it? I couldn't find Hermippos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermippos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. <sighs> Yes, you deserve a play of your own. <laughs> what is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Let's go get him. You two are not fun. Oh. <laughs> He's inside of the temple. I should stay hidden if I don't have to fight. Oh, he's not in here. He's on the other side. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Hide. Mm, silly kitten.
Do you want out, you little gremlin? Come on. Come on. Come on. Out. Hurry up. Silly thing. What? You there! Oop. Sorry, I was being distracted by kitten. Alright. Ooh, who do we have here? Getting closer. Oop, can I leave? Oh, I'm not, I'm leaving. Go away. Go away. Go away, sir. Woo! Yeah. Uh, you gonna do something with that? <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what this one is. Uh, one second, y'all. Trying to figure out which one I want to do next. That's what I want to do, because this just some silly little one. Let's go do this one. 